New Orleans officials and survivors of Hurricane Katrina came together this morning to mark the 19th anniversary of the storm's landfall. Each year, city residents gather at the Katrina Memorial to lay a wreath in remembrance of those who died in the storm and the roughly 100 victims who still have not been identified. While Louisiana and Mississippi were hit hardest by Katrina, the impacts of the storms also stretched into Alabama. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts looks back at what happened at Gulf Shores. DeSoto's is a staple in Gulf Shores. The restaurant has stood here for decades and has weathered many storms. Well, of course, being a block away from the Gulf of Mexico. Owner Rosemary still remembers walking into a restaurant to see the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. We had a lot of water damage inside and a lot of wind damage and roof damage as well. This line on the wall marks just how high the water came up inside DeSoto's during Hurricane Katrina. They had to cut the wall out from here down a wall they had just replaced the year before after Hurricane Ivan. We had we had just a few months before had gotten our, our new sign repaired and put on top of the building and it put holes all in it all in the top, in the new roof that we had just gotten as well. <laughs> so it was it was hard but we knew we could get through it. Just still in the throes of recovering from Ivan and then Katrina comes up and so it was it was really tense and scary. Gulf Shores Mayor Robert Kraft evacuated ahead of the storm. My father was sick and I knew that if we lost power with his lung issues, we'd have a problem. So we loaded up and, and went to Montgomery. Mayor Kraft says the anniversary of Katrina is a reminder that hurricane season is not over yet. First thing every morning on my list to do is look at the tropics. Sally was our last one and thank goodness we can keep our fingers crossed that hopefully we, we can say that for a while longer. As we enter peak storm season, they are hoping all stays calm along the coast. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News, Gulf Shores. Now, two people died as a result of Hurricane Katrina here in Alabama, but of course the death toll around the southeast in New Orleans and in Mississippi is much larger. And Val, we all remember those reports from the Ninth Ward and the convention center there in New Orleans. It was just really a, a, loss of life. Yeah, a big issue down there.